subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification bell. Hi friends, I'm back with the Trader Joe's haul. It's been forever. I went at the very beginning of January of this year and it's currently March 15th. So I was long overdue to go to Trader Joe's. Absolutely love it. It's my favorite grocery store to shop at. I find it's very affordable. They have a variety of things, you know. They definitely have even the fruits and vegetables. It's not like your normal. They have different varieties and such, which I enjoy. And they have a lot of low point options. And obviously they have not low point options. But I think I did pretty well today to stick into the, the good stuff, or at least good for me. And it's never a Trader Joe's trip without flowers. And so I picked up two bunches. I'm gonna try to make like this pastel bouquet and put it in my little Easter setup. I'll spin you around and show that while I get to unboxing these or unbagging, I should say. And I got four very full bags. And I think it was like right around $200. Let's see, here's the receipt. Bop, bop. The toodle what, oh, the, the toodle. <laughs> The total was $192.59. So let's get to unbagging. And of course, I'll give you the points. And a lot of times, I'll also let you know the calories. This is my little table escape. Isn't it cute? But I'm going to somehow put these flowers in here. <laughs> Obviously, i got to cut them down. I'll show you what it looks like at the end. did get a few things that are higher point. Uh, most of it I knew, but one thing did surprise me and I'll point that out as I show you everything I got. Let's start down here in the frozen so that way my husband can put it up for me. So I have never seen this. It was a multi-grain blend with vegetables. It looks really good to me. It looks like it has barley, carrots, um, peas, corn. Not sure what we'll do with this. I usually don't like spending points on my, my vegetables, but since this had the grain, it reminded me when I make farro, which just reminds me I didn't freaking pick up any farro. But anyhow, this is four points for the serving, and the serving is one cup for 160 calories. Also just picked up a bag of this roasted corn. This will be great in different bowls or just as a side dish. Like the other night we were having, um, what did we have? We had something, oh, the other night we were having some tacos and they just weren't very filling. So this would have been great to add to the side. And I like the fact that it's roasted and it is zero points. I always, I went ahead and picked up a bag of riced cauliflower for zero points. I just like keeping this in the freezer to have on hand on nights. I don't want to eat real rice because the rest of the meal is too point heavy. This is always a go-to of mine. I find it's really easy and it has great flavor. It's just this uh, gnocchi with tomato and mozzarella. It's six points for the serving. The serving is 220 calories and the bag has three servings. So we typically just split a bag for, I think it's like eight points. I also picked up this chicken chow mein. It's been a while since we had this one. It's only four points per the serving. And the serving size is a third of the package for 200 calories. So really good nutrition there. And we always bulk it up with some extra vegetables or maybe have like a side egg roll or something. But I think I, it's been a while since I've had this one. I'll have to see how much I like it. I absolutely love the spring rolls from uh, Trader Joe's. They're three points each. If you have two, it's five points. Went ahead and picked those up, and they're 100, cal 100 calories per roll. I just went ahead and grabbed two boxes 
because there's five per box, so we're always left with an odd number. This is always a staple in my house, this microwave rice. I have to say, I like, don't even use my rice maker anymore unless I'm making like bulk rice. There's really no reason. Three minutes in the microwave gives you perfect rice, and it's two cups per pouch, so it's six points. If you scan this, it scans incorrectly for five points, just FYI. And then one of my favorite little desserts are these mini hold the cones. I actually think uh, they rip you off on the points because they're tiny for five points. And the serving is actually three cones for 280 calories. And if you eat that many, I believe it's like 13 points. But I never eat more than one, but these are my fave. And the mini chocolate chip ones are my favorite as well because the cone is the chocolate cone and it's better. Okay, I also picked up some TV dinners mainly for my husband. I thought I was going to have one of these, but they're way too high in points. This chicken shawarma bowl, it's 11 points and it is 400 calories with 20 grams of protein. I think he'll really enjoy that one. And then this is the one a worker there was stocking and he told me how good it was. That it was an absolute favorite. And I like these flavors. It's spicy peanut noodle bowl with chicken. And so I was like, oh, I'll give that a try. It is 16 points. So this one my husband will have to eat. But it is five cal 500 calories and 19 grams of protein. He'll have to let me know how that one is. And then he's had this one before. It's the Sriracha Shrimp Bowl for 8 points, 320 calories, and 15 grams of protein. And this spinach artichoke dip, this is so yummy. Typically, I make it in a pasta, and it's 2 points per the serving of 2 tablespoons. But honestly, I think I want to enjoy it as a dip also, or try something more stuff with it, because it's just so stinking delicious, I swear. And then I also got these chicken breakfast sausage patties. I love these. And last time in January when I went to Trader Joe's, they were out of stock. So I was super excited to see them today. They're two points a patty. So I went ahead and got two bags of them. So good. But I forgot. I do want to try to make my own like breakfast sausage patties for zero points. I just haven't had the time yet. And I haven't done it. But I'm going to do it and freeze them. Another go-to of mine is these chicken thigh shawarma. These are so good on the grill. It makes for a quick and easy night when I don't really feel like doing anything. They're four points per the serving because they are chicken thighs and not breast. But every once in a while, you gotta, you gotta eat some non-zero point protein and you'll see that coming up. Also for four points is this carnitas and it's like already pre-cooked and it's 200 calories per two ounces, which I'm not sure what I wanna do with this. I was thinking maybe some tacos or some nachos it just sounded good to me. The price was right and it was, you know, something different. Um, that's okay, right? These are the sausages that I absolutely love from there. They're four points per link. I typically make these when I make the gnocchi. I just like it together. Um, I meant to get two packages, but I didn't. So that's okay. That'll be an excuse to go. It should go to Trader Joe's again sooner. Went ahead and picked up two packages of 99% lean ground turkey for zero points. I love keeping this on hand. I use ground turkey a lot. It doesn't really bother me, even it being the 99% lean, especially in like pastas or soups or casseroles. The 99% lean does not bother me at all. Okay. Also in the cold section, freezer section. This is not Weight Watchers friendly. They're carne asada burritos, but they are yummy. And they're 14 points each. Sometimes you just got to. I don't buy these every time I go because they are half point. But I bought them this time. <laughs> and I'm going to enjoy them. Just on days I eat stuff like this, I just make sure like in my breakfast or my lunch, they're lower point. Or it'll be a day, maybe on the weekend, where I slept in and only ate maybe a boiled egg for breakfast and then have the points. That's when I make stuff like this work. And I wouldn't serve this on side like, rice and fattening refried beans you know the beans with the lard not the fat free refried beans those are okay i would serve it alongside maybe a salad or something like that maybe that corn so there's ways to incorporate higher point items gotta stock up on the cheese <laughs> so these are my three go-to cheeses every time i go to trader joe's the harlsburg light sliced cheese absolutely love it it is two points a slice because it's 50 calories but it does have seven grams of protein. I just prefer this cheese, especially on breakfast sandwiches or any other sandwiches. It's my go-to. 
And then I always keep the light mozzarella on hand. It's scanned for two points per serving, but you may want to check those nutrition facts. So something tells me, I don't remember it being that low for a fourth of a cup, but it's 60 calories, also seven grams of protein. And then I got the Mexican style. Sometimes I get the Fiesta style. I just get one or the other. And it's scanned at three points per serving and it is 80 calories and eight grams of protein. So gotta get the cheese. I did not get any other cheese, which usually I do, but that's because I still have some left from my Aldi trip not too long ago. And I was being good. Didn't even allow myself to really peruse that section because that is my weakness. Picked up some chomps. I got the turkey, I got the beef, and I got one jalapeno. I haven't, the first time I had these, I didn't think they were that great. And then I picked some up the other day. And yeah, I'm a fan again. So I'm hoping they have them at Costco tomorrow so I can just get a lot of them. But I didn't want to count on that. So I went ahead and grabbed some. They're $2 each, which is like kind of why I don't want to buy them. That seems expensive to me. I'd rather them be like $1.25, $1.50. But anyhow, these are two or three points depending on which one you eat. I think the turkey is two and the rest are three points. And then a bag of red lentil pasta. I really enjoy this pasta. It's not the same as normal pasta. It definitely has more of a bite and tooth, but I find it holds up when you're stirring and mixing. I don't mind it. I like it a lot. I love putting a ton, a ton of vegetables and bulking it up that way. I just remembered what else I forgot. I forgot my enchilada sauce. And that is the place I love their enchilada sauce. I'm going to have to go back here soon. But anyways, this is four points per serving, three-fourths a cup, 210 calories. And it's 15 grams of protein. Way higher in protein than your normal pasta. I just went ahead and got some canned items because we've been out. Can of pinto beans, half a cup is 100 calories, seven grams of protein, uh, zero points. Went ahead and got a can of corn. Yeah, I've never had their corn or pinto beans, so I'm sure they're good. Half a cup is 60 calories, one gram of protein for the corn. And then two cans of black beans. We eat black beans a lot. I like to bulk them up in casseroles and stuffed peppers. Um, we eat them as a side a lot in bowls. We just, we like them. Uh, half a cup is 110 calories and six grams of protein. So oddly, the pinto beans actually have more protein, one gram, and less calories. So technically, I guess pinto beans are better than black beans. And then I went ahead and got these crispy jalapeno chips. They're just like at Thanksgiving where you put in like the crispy onions, but it's with jalapenos. I like topping these, topping chicken with these, and I also like to use them um, on sandwiches or burgers. It just adds an extra flavor, and they stay good forever in here. Like, I'll probably have this for like, it says it's good until next January, so I'll eat on this for a long, long time. And they're one point a serving. I like adding on the salads, too. Okay, let's continue with snacks. Now, these are dried apricots, no sugar added. Six pieces are 100 in calories and three uh, points. I don't necessarily eat these. I just don't like a lot of dried fruit. These are for my husband. He enjoys them. Now, these next two things are for my husband. I'm going to put them in his Easter basket. So, shh. But this one, these cherry lemon animal crackers, they're 13 points for the whole bag. But like I said, they're for him for Easter. And I just thought the flavor sounded interesting. And then I also got him these peas and carrot sour gummies. He's not like a huge like sour gummy person, but I just thought the peas and carrots was like hilarious for Easter. And it's 12 points for the bag. And then for me, for whatever reason, they have all these mini biscotti like up above the frozen section. And there was these chocolate ones that were just calling my name. They were like, I don't know why. I'm not a huge biscotti fan or anything, but I just really wanted them. But I scanned them and they were like super high points. So I was like, no, I'm not doing that. Well, then I get to another aisle and at the end cap, they had these bad boys. These chocolate almond biscotti. I just couldn't say no. And it's only 110 calories for a long, big one. So I thought that was pretty good and five points. I can make it work. Most likely my husband will eat, you know, three fourths of his bag and I may have two of them. But I had to try them. This is the point that I knew I was like going, going rogue. 
And this mistake I knew I was gonna make. I, I wanted to try these. I've been wanting to try them for a while. They're the white white truffle potato chips. They're six points per serving for 150 calories. I've never tried these. Uh, I'm really excited to give them a go and see what they taste like. Little chips now and again, never hurt anyone. But that is like my weakness. Okay, let's go through the produce. I'm gonna flip you around, it's just easier now. Okay, I had to get some of the Kara Kara oranges. If you know, you know, they're the oranges that have the pink in the middle and they are seedless. Um, they're just really good. I've had them before, not from Trader Joe's, but I've had them in the past and they've always been good. So hopefully they're just as good and they were a great price. I was gonna buy the Simo oranges because I really love them, but man, they were expensive and they were a little mushy, so I stayed away from those. And I also got a lime, not sure what it's gonna be used yet, but I also picked up some slaw mix. So I figured some sort of slaw was in our future, so that's what prompted the um, lime purchase. And just know, all these vegetables are zero points unless stated otherwise. Picked up some mini baby uh, rainbow carrots. I haven't birth bought these in a while. I actually really do like them. They have different textures to me based on the color. I like to dip these in ranch, and I may, I plan to make the high-protein ranch here soon, so that'll be a great dip. I got some fun brown beech mushrooms. I purchased this last time at Trader Joe's to try for the first time. We absolutely love it. You just cut the bottom off, and then all the little mushrooms fall off. They have a great texture, so give that a go. Arugula is one of my favorite greens to get. So got a big bag of arugula. That'll be for salad sandwiches. I like to wilt it in grains as well. Um, got some more rush mushrooms. Got some baby bellas. They used to have these big bag of baby bellas. and They don't have them anymore, but this will work. So happy about that. Picked up some blueberries. I hope these are good. Last time I got blueberries at Aldi's, they weren't any good. But everyone's been talking about how good blueberries are. So hopefully these will do me right. Got a bag of fresh rice cauliflower. I've never done that, um, bought the fresh one, but I'm just curious about it and want to give it a go. So maybe we'll make some type of bowl this weekend with that. I also got some baby mini corn. Again, I've never purchased this, but the thought was I got this like um, ramen, this healthier version of like prepackaged ramen sent to me. And I want to make some ramen bowls and one of the photos has these in it, so I thought I would go ahead and pick some up to add to it. And I think my husband really likes these. Uh, I picked up this bag of butternut squash. I had heck the other night with the recipe prepping butternut squash, but yet we enjoyed it. And I saw this big bag, so I was like, you know what? I can go ahead and grab that because it's such a good price. My HEB, a bag half this size is like $5.00. This whole bag was like three bucks and it's double the size. So went ahead and got it. It stays good to like quite a while. So we'll make something with this this week. Um, went ahead and picked up some little potatoes. They were a great price. I don't really like potatoes all that much, but my husband does. And they're actually, you know, pretty low point vegetable. You can have almost three ounces of these uncooked for one point. And I'm talking about you better barely toggle it down from three ounces and it stays one point. And then I got a bag of small avocados. And then I picked up one large avocado because this one's ripe and I need it tonight to dinner. But avocado is 36 grams per a point, And that is a lot of avocados. So always, always be sure to weigh your avocado to get the best bang for your buck. I got some cilantro. I love cilantro. Man, this one's already not looking that great. That's okay. I'll pick all that up. We're going to eat some bowls. I figured with the cauliflower rice bowl and then maybe make some guac. But the main reason I got this is also for the ramen bowl. Um, top it with a little cilantro. And the last item I got was for my dogs. These are low calorie dog treats. And these are what we play trick or treat around the house. I'd like to scatter them through the house. And little Rio and Asher goes on trick-or-treating. They love it. Okay, I actually really, really like how my flowers came out. They're not the best, but they're not the worst. Aren't they cute? Little baby's breath. And then these. <laughs> Look at the little napkin ears. Aren't they cute? And the little napkins. <laughs> the bunny plates. Okay, enough, enough. 
So friends, that is what $200 gets you from Trader Joe's. But before I sign out, I wanted to do a little taste test with these chips. I need the bag over, let me go cut it. Okay, let's give them a go. Oh, that's the tiniest chip. Those are good. The truffle flavor is like super, super light. It tastes like high-end Lay's. Oh yeah. I shouldn't buy these. Oh man, these are good. See what my husband I'm gonna have to pre-portion these out. Which I love chips anyhow. But these are damn good. Okay. That's it, friends. See you next time. Bye. I freaking forgot to do a photo pose. Like, when am I gonna learn? Like, when? Like, I like how many times do I do this and not learn that?